Alright guys, so a question I get asked often enough is how do you list your token that you have created on PancakeSwap and so it's like sites like PancakeSwap, like Uniswap, etc. Um, so in this video, we're just going to cover real quick how, how you do that, how you add liquid to PancakeSwap, i.e. how you list your token on PancakeSwap. And um, yeah, guys, so um, please leave a like, comment below if you enjoy these types of videos as well as... Um, uh, contacts and stuff down below if you have any questions but um yeah let's get into it all right so the first thing you will want to do is um go to pancake swap now i'm assuming you've already created your token if you haven't um see the video somewhere here that you should be able to see how to do that but um once you have your token once you have it all created what you want to do is go to pancake swap and you go to the left and you want to go to liquidity and um the liquidity um, tab here um, what you want to do is you want to click add liquidity all right now I'm assuming you again you've already created your your, your um, token so I'm just gonna go ahead here and copy you copy your token address right because you'll need um, the address of your token contract um, for to be to find it on PancakeSwap so you go ahead you paste your token PancakeSwap should find it just gonna go ahead and add um, you will see here you are the first liquid to provide the, the ratio of tokens you add will set the price of this pool once you are happy with the rate click supply and review so another question i get a lot to which i'll just go ahead and answer in this video as well is um what like what what price do you set for your token no you need to understand guys like it's your it, this is totally 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 up to you you can say whatever price you want for your token you can set 0 0.001 cent you could set a million dollars you could set a billion it's totally up to you what you're trying to do with your project and um uh, something but i'm just gonna go ahead here and uh, i get like set a price that um would be attractive to um people just to kind of give you an idea here um so i've i'm gonna go ahead and choose a uh, busd here um so right here what you're doing is you're selecting token pairs right meaning when people come to pancake swap this is the token that they'll be able to use to buy your token now they'll be able to use other to once you do this um depending on the token they should be able to use um other tokens as well which i'll explain it in a bit but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select your peers um i recommend you select something like bnb or cake or um busd or something like that i've gone ahead here and selected on um, busd just to show you what is a good example of pricing um so let's say for example we want um our coins to be like at a 25 percent discount to um U, uh, us dollars right so we want one alex we want one coin one usd to buy you one twenty one twenty five alex coin Right, so all you do is you go ahead and you 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 set the price here and it pancakes pancakes up will tell you um ALC per BSD, right? It tells you um for every um <laughs> uh one you'll get one point two five ALC per BSD, so a twenty five percent discount. Now again on the same idea of pricing, um let's say for example I'm a coder, right? Let's say for example just to give you some idea of how this would make all uh, make sense um let's say you want let's say i like i start to accept alex coins alc as payments right um then anybody who owned alex coins right um if they bought it at this price at the 25 percent discount will automatically get like a 25 percent discount on whatever it is i was selling so that's just an example of, of pricing and how you think about that but um like i said guys it literally is up to you what you want to set your price at what your project is about what whatever you want to set your price at it's really up to you um but one word of caution here is guys you want to make sure when you're doing this you add enough coins um in the pool um of both period. you want to make sure you add enough coins um uh, in the pool um of the period that you're trading so that people can actually trade with it trade with it right and um will be able to buy it and the price will stabilize at that price so um if you add too too few coins like um let's say for example i added um like one like one busd then let's say for example somebody came and they wanted to buy like 10 uh 10 10 10 usd worth of alex coin right then they wouldn't be able to do that because we we haven't added that um that amount of liquidity liquidity similarly pancake swap has features that um 
stop you from impacting the, the price too much so um you want to put uh, maybe like uh, 50 to 25 percent more than what you expect the volume to be of your coin um you know probably not doing like a lot of volume but the point is um you want to make sure you put in enough token so at a 25 percent discount let's say we add let's say we um we add 10 we add 10 um 10 usd so um we can actually let's let's go ahead here and swap this one real quick i'm not doing this is for no particular reason um yeah just so we can like see this um clearly um 0 0.75 i think it's just a little bit better um is it really no it's not i i want i just want to make it clear but um i think this is a lot more clear yeah i think it's a lot more clear so um yeah I, like i said guys you want to make sure that you add enough so let's say i want to do um 10 i want to add 10 um 10 usd worth of it um so i'd want to go ahead and your art so what is uh what's 10 what's 25 percent of 10 50 percent 5 5 so it's 2.5 so that's uh so 2.5 so that's 12 12.5 again maybe you want to use a calculator for this stuff but you want to make sure that whatever discount whatever price you're selling your token to it's a price that you're comfort comfortable with again it's all up to you just make sure that you add enough of um make sure you add enough of whatever trading peer you're using so that um when people go to buy they can actually buy so people somebody would be able to buy five dollars worth of um alc for example because there's enough of that in the pool um but all right guys so once you have your price all set and you are set on your price you just go ahead and click approve metamask should pop up and ask you to confirm um the transactions you just click confirm it's approving the alc you may have to like wait a little you click it again right and then like eventually you should see this big blue supply button now once you go ahead and click the supply button um some numbers will pop up here to just confirm what we were doing so um that's 10 BUSD for um 12.5 alex d for or um for 25 percent um uh discount um so that's all good guys bear in mind as well um uh PancakeSwap does charge its own 0 0.25 um, uh, uh, trading fee when you go to swap. So uh, people will get charged at 0 0.25 trading fee. This is why you see it at EBSD here. So if you want that, just go ahead and add that to the price. But we don't care about that. Um, we just want to make sure that the rate is fine. Um, and once you are good that, you just go ahead and click so create pool and supply. Metamask should pop up asking you to confirm the transaction again guys you might need a little bit of bnb in your wallet for this um to confirm so um i go ahead and click confirm and once that is done uh that should be everything metamask should um that should approve everything we we'll just go here and check on metamask to make sure yep and your tokens are no your tokens are no stake in the pool right you've created um your own liquidity so um you can see that here your own liquidity tells you how much you have and um percentage so and how it works is once you go to this once you go to the swap tab here um people will be able to buy your token with other tokens so um the usd here um select your token here um, and if you want like um, 0 0.5 worth of um, Alex coin, then you get to buy 0 0.5 worth of Alex coin um, roughly at the rate that we talked about. Um, again, be in mind like MetaMask <coughs> does charge its own um, fee. So if you want that um, included, um, uh, go ahead and add that 0 0.25 as well as once trading starts that price is out of our hands guys so um, make sure you add enough coins to the pool um, to to um, to support your um, your demand so um, but that is it guys actually let's just go ahead and click quick click swap here be the first purchase purchaser of our coin um, go ahead and click swap here approve okay metamask pops up we confirm right and that is it guys that is how you add um your own token to metamask and add it 
add your own liquidity um there are some cooler, cool things here we could talk about like liquidity liquidity points lots of tongue twisters here guys it's super late forgive me um but yeah that's it um if you like this video please uh leave a like and a comment i'll do more videos like this as well as you can reach out to me if you have any more ideas or videos or things that you want to see so um i will see you in the next one